Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Land County Survivor Man. Thanks for watching. Hello, Jamie Morton. Uh, I'm proud to do a video for you, buddy. You're an up-and-coming blacksmith out west there. And uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do a forge well like many you've been talking about there on uh, my Facebook page. And uh, I've seen you've done a lot of good work and uh, I'm proud of you for learning how to be a blacksmith. Although I'm not a blacksmith, I like to try to do stuff like they uh, used to do in the old days. And today, what I'm going to do is make a well a spur on the end of a poker. And uh, that's uh, what it looks like. You can see right there, I've already got it scarfed meaning I've hammered it out a little bit so that when I weld it down it'll lay right on there, right smooth like and be sort of like a, a finished carpenter's work. Uh, what I want to tell you though about the fire is always make sure your fire is eight inches deep or, or a little bit, you know, six to eight inches deep and clean. Make sure that you haven't got any copper or brass that you've been working on in that fire because that's going to cause that uh, weld not to work. Now, of course, you asked me was I going to use borax, I'm going to use borax. Uh, I want you to use a brush on your first welds there when you try it. Also, I want you to use a warm, either a warmed up block on your anvil, or like this right here, I've got a chisel plate that I've made for my anvil, and I've preheated it, it's warm, it's not really hot, don't have to be, but we, when you're doing really uh, thin stuff like Maybe you're going to make that spoon right there like I've made for my, dip my borax with. It'll suck the heat, your, your cold anvil will suck the heat right out of that weld really fast. So what we're going to do here in a minute is bring that thing up to forge uh, welding heat and put the flux on it. Okay, Jamie, check this out. I've got that thing up to a nice orange heat right quick. I'm going to brush the scale off of it. Because if you leave the scale on that thing, I don't care how hot you get it, it's not going to stick. Now, I'm just going to sprinkle borax right on that and let the stuff melt. Just let it melt right on there. And I'll have my borax, it'll coat it real good, and I'll have my borax up at the house where there's not a lot of humidity sitting around my heating stove. So that's what you do. Now you see it's turning dark and the flux is melted. Now we'll put it right back in the fire and we'll bring it up to the welding heat. Okay, Jamie. Beginners always go really fast with their air and that's going to cause your, uh, your metal to burn. And uh, I just dropped my little coat hanger. Now, here's how I test to see if it's got up to the welding heat yet. I've got a coat hanger right there. About hammered end out on it really thin. All I got to do is stick that in there on that piece and if it glues itself to that piece of stuff, that stuff's come to the welding heat. And that right there is almost at the welding heat. And that's the way you do it. If you see fireworks coming out of your fire, then you know you've got your metal too hot. It's burning. So let's don't burn this piece. Let's see if we can go ahead. We'll let it soak there just a second. It's getting there. Almost. A little bit more. Okay, very easy, gentle like. Clean it. Reflux it. Put it right back in there and take a second round with it. Okay, Jamie, here we go. Second one. Okay, 
Get over here off camera a second. See how your weld's welded together? That's the way it should look. Now what we'll do is we'll cut it off right here and see if the weld really stuck. Okay, Jamie. You can see I just cut that off just a second ago. I hate to walk off camera so much, but there it is. Well, Jamie, there's the way a forge weld looks right after you cut the thing off. What I'm going to do now, it's welded right back to here. So I'm going to cut it off, cut or bend this around and make a hook out of it and straighten this piece out. Jamie, I hope you learned something from this video. And buddy, that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor man. Keep on forging and have a nice day.